it's going to be a dog fight. And so if you're ready to quit, then don't get started. If you're looking for this easy path, don't get started. If you think they're not going to close the door on you and say no a million times, don't get started. This type of energy, this type of passion, you can't stop it. You can contain it for a while, but you cannot stop. This is life. And you can't defeat me. There's nice guys and there's good men. Like nice guys are passive aggressive, emotional, no core values, backstabbing, not great husbands, not protectors and providers. You cannot be great if you cannot operate in chaos. Because if you can operate in chaos, the world becomes Disneyland. Problems become scratches. I can lose my car. I'm gonna go have some sushi with my wife and think about the solution, not the problem. Many people focus on the problem and not solutions. I believe like when you really trying to accomplish something or become something different, there's supposed to be challenges present. It's supposed to be opposition present. It's supposed to be adversity present. When you really trying to become something different, every next level of my life demands a new version of me. It's supposed to be challenges present. And then good men are savage servants, confident, capable men who will stand in the gap and be ferocious, but who will come home to their kids, lay down and let their kids crawl all over them. You can do more than you can ever begin to imagine. You are stronger than you realize. You don't know enough about yourself to be a cynic. Effort is the universal currency of respect. It doesn't matter how lame you might be or how lame you might think you are, how not good you are at something. Every single person across cultures, across age groups, respects effort. And so the one thing that we can control is the effort that we dedicate to a task. And so if you can put everything you have into achieving what you want, people will give you the respect you deserve based on what you are doing, not the outcome. Because the outcome, my friends, will come. Your obstacles are there to teach you, they're there to mold you, they're there to forge you into a machine. But unfortunately, most people don't look at obstacles that way. They look at obstacles as this negative thing. Life hates me, the universe hates me, God hates me, I'm unlucky, I'm, I'm the worst that there is. Bad things only happen to me. And that's because you're choosing to see things the wrong way. You're choosing to pick the perspective of you're a victim as opposed to being a battle-hardened mother warrior that is going to kick and you are so thankful for these obstacles that they are going to make you stronger more effective and more successful over the course of your life